equality, without, words, all for all campaign. Acquisition of language and literacy for everybody. All the core words for everybody. Robin Hurd, mother of twin boys who both use communication aids, and organizer of AAC Institute Parents Corner, has this to say about the low expectations people have of nonverbal students. Expectations are still so low that it boggles people's minds to imagine kids like ours learning to speak and write in complete sentences, talk about their dreams and aspirations, go to college and be successful in career and in life. Once people begin to believe that this is possible, they then see the need for core vocabulary. Much of the lack of success we currently see is not due to limitations in our kids, but due to the limitations in the perceptions of those who work with them. I am campaigning for everyone with speech and language disabilities to be given the technology and teaching they need to say, read and write the same 100 to 400 core words we all use most each day. I have some questions for teachers, speech therapists, decision makers, and the makers of communication aids. Do you have a blueprint, a plan, a long-term course of action for systematically introducing core vocabulary to students with speech disabilities and learning challenges? Can primary school educators and therapists be assured that during the preschool years specific vocabulary and language functions were introduced? Can middle school educators and therapists be assured that the students they inherit have access to a core vocabulary of high-frequency reusable words they can use in their education program? Is anyone making plans? or keeping records of the language they introduce and teach to these children? Unfortunately, of the 157 speech and language pathologists Gail Van Tettenhove surveyed, USA, 2008, not a single one was able to answer yes to any of these questions. General practice was highly dependent upon the skills of the treating therapist, most of who had no expertise in AAC. I wish I could say it's not like that in the UK, but my experience and published statistics say, it is. In year 7 my teachers gave me 200 lesson nouns to program into my pathfinder, words they would use with me once, or a few times, and then never again. In year 8 one teacher gave me 5 words. Hanukkah, menorah, festival of light. In year 9 my teachers gave me no words at all. Literacy dropped to twice a week in years 10 and 11. In years 12 to 14 we got no literacy instruction. School and local authorities say they are not obliged to teach literacy to students over 16. Year 7 Teacher Vocabulary Can you make sentences with these words? When was the last time you said pan stand? How many times a day do you say TP? Or zebra? The Marvin study of six preschoolers, their top 330 words. If my teachers had taught me these words things might have been very different. The 26 words that toddlers use for 96.3% of everything they say are the first words we want everyone to be taught. But most of the Banerjee 26 and Marvin 330 high frequency words are missing from the lives of students with speech and language disabilities. Missing from standardized speech therapy tests. Missing from therapy intervention. Missing from teacher's lessons. Missing from AAC aids. Missing from UK national literacy strategy. If they don't provide access to, or teach, these core words, how dare they attribute a student's language delay to his or her lack of ability? The technology is everywhere. We have the knowledge. It is time for the wicked word stealers and the fraternity of exclusion to change their ways. Paper is cheap. There are computers in every classroom. There is no excuse for denying anyone the way to point at or say words out loud. You just need the right words on a language-friendly displays. Like this. These 300 words should meet around 80% of a person's communication needs. Gail Van Tadonhoff got very positive results teaching her starter set of 100 plus core words to 24 individuals with severe cognitive disabilities. 10 of the 24 learned 76 to over 100 words, and another 10 learned 55 to 75 words. 16 were making consistent two and three word utterances, and all were marking morphology. Two million people in the UK have speech and language disabilities. 
1.6 million of these are under 18. 600,000 cannot talk without special equipment. Less than 1 in 10 students with disabilities reads beyond level 2. 73% of professionals feel under-trained and underconfident at meeting the needs of students with speech and language disabilities. What we need them to know is not part of a speech therapy degree or special needs teacher training. How many people in our county need AAC? How many have an AAC aid? How can we find out? Who will help me ask my campaign questions? Who will help me petition the government? I need your support. It is a big challenge. Goal. 400 core words poster on the wall in every class where there is a student who cannot talk or who struggles to read. Goal. A personal communication display for each student with as many of these words as they can access visually and manually. Goal. Teachers to paraphrase their lessons in core words and elicit student responses in core words. Objective. The best possible communication for everybody. The United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities makes equal education and the facilitation of communication a legal right for people with disabilities. No more, we don't know what to do, or, we can't afford to do that. I am using the Diana Award channel at Radio Waves to promote this campaign, and my campaign for AAC role models in schools. Big challenge are funding and mentoring us to print and distribute communication displays and use them in a small research project. Michael, Andrew, Gemma, Robert, with a little help from family and friends. Facilitating communication for everybody.